Assalamu alaikum my dear student hope you are fine and doing well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEVS home school I am Nasima Akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal English version school morning shift dear students today I am going to take a science class for class 7 students dear students our today's topic is chapter 1 today we will discuss from lesson 5 to 10 let's see today's topic from here <coughs> our today's topic is chapter 1 the name of uh, this chapter is lower organisms today we will read lessons 5 from 10 and this is lecture number 2 and I will give you SW and this is the first SW of uh, half yearly examination. This is SW1. So dear student, let's begin today's class. Here is lesson 5 and 6. And this is your science book. Today we will start from this page. This is page number 4. This is page number 4. Here is lesson 5 and 6. Algae, fungi and amoeba. Algae, fungi and amoeba. Fungi. Fungi are non-green thallophytic plants. Thallophytic means that we can't divide them into leaf, root or stem. They cannot take part in photosynthesis because they are non-green. Because they do not have chlorophyll. They do not have chlorophyll so that they cannot take part in photosynthesis process. So they are heterophyte or saprophytic. Heterophytic fungi grow on slate, rotten food, stuffs, fruits, vegetables, wheat bread or leather, cow dung, etc. Saprophytic fungi grow on dead organisms or on soil full of humus. Now economic importance of fungi. We get many valuable medicines including penicillin from fungi. Fungi named yeast are used for preparing bread. Yeast are used in vitamin tablets as they are very rich in vitamins. Nowadays a kind of mushroom named agaricus is used as fancy food. At present, agaricus is cultivated in many countries including ours. Fungi have important role in purifying waste products and mix them with soil. Fungi are responsible for many diseases of, hum of man, animal, bird and plants. Ringworm, inflammation of trachea, this is respiratory system and free class are fungal diseases. Diseases like late blight of potato, black band diseases of jute, red rot of sugarcane etc. are caused by fungal infection. They easily attack furniture made of wood, bamboo, can etc and damage them enormously. Preventing of fungal infection. Fungal diseases are highly contagious. It means a person may get infected on coming into contact with an infected person. The following measures should be taken to be safe from these diseases. One number point here is avoid using these cloths palms, caps, sandals of the infected persons. Two number point, 
avoid mixing with diseased person and three number spraying fungicides on infected plants or uprooting and burn them up algae algae are chlorophyllous and autophytic plants of the order thallophyta they grow on soil water and on other plants besides green red brown etc colored algae are also seen the algae named spirogyra grows in the most water bodies benefits of algae Al algae extract extracted from marine algae is used in preparing ice cream marine algae are also good source of iodine and potassium algae are used as food in fisheries harmful role of algae algae are responsible for causing various diseases of human and plants abundance of algae in water bodies create shortage of oxygen and may cause death of aquatic animal and fishes amoeba amoeba a member of the kingdom protista is a unicellular organism their body is very small they cannot be seen without microscope they can change their body shape according to their necessity small finger like structure which is produced from their body is called pseudopodia small finger like structure which is produced from their body is called pseudopodia you can see this picture there is a level pseudopodia this is pseudopodia with the help of these pseudopodia amoeba take food uh, and move from one place to another the body bears some water vacuoles food vacuoles and um, contract uh, contract uh, this a uh, vacuoles the body is surrounded by a thin transparent membrane it is called plasma lemma it is called plasma lemma here is a picture uh, you can see the level uh, here is plasma you can see here is plasma gel plasma soil this is nucleus and this is water vacuole and now amoeba grows in water wet soil rotten uh, waste material organic uh, debris at the bottom of the pond etc now listen seven and amoeba there are two types of dysentery such as amoebic and bacillary one type of bacillus bacteria is responsible for causing bac bacillary dysentery Amoebic dysentery is caused by the infection of one kind of unicellular animal ant amoeba. Ant amoeba is a unicellular organism which belong to the kingdom protista. This is belong kingdom protista. They cannot be seen with bare eyes. Its body has no definite shape because they continuously change size and shape. Their body is transparent and jelly-like. In adverse environment, sometimes they cover the body with hard and round covering. This is known as cyst. You can see here is a picture ant amoeba. Picture of ant amoeba. And here is the uh, figure name is multiple fusion of amoeba. They live in uh, as uh, parasites in large intestine of man, monkeys, cats, dogs, pigs and rats. And amoeba for causing a kind of dysentery is responsible. And amoeba reproduce by cell division and sporulation processes. In sporulation process, protoplasm of the cell divides into many parts and produce small spores. In favorable condition, each spore grows into a new ant amoeba. A patient bears the germs without any symptom. It is very difficult to cure amoebic dysentery completely. 
this disease is completely cured when a competent doctor is consulted and taken proper medicines. Now lesson 8 and 9. Role of microbes in creating health hazards. Bacteria may get entrance in different processes. Dirty hands may act as suitable carrier for germs. Bacteria can enter into their mouth through dirty hand. Bacterial spores may also be transported with the cloths and we use cloths that we use. Bacterial spores may travel from one place to another with the dust in the yard. Bacteria may easily get transferred through shaking hands. Germs dis uh, disperses easily through stall and rotten foods. Cholera and typhoid are bacterial diseases. One spread of uh, diseases caused by virus, bacteria and antimoeba was very high. It was caused due to the shortage of safe water. Defecation and urination here and there create risk in public health. Animal feeding on these fecal matters disperse the germs from one place to another. Besides, the rain water and tidal water also spread the germs to distant places. In many areas of our country, there is no sanitary latrine and the people use fields or unhygienic latrines for defecation. Antamoeba infected. It will be infected. Students, you can correction this. Antamoeba infected fecal matters get mixed with the soil. Handling the, uh, that soil contaminates hands. Vegetables grown in those soil are also contaminated. Vegetables sometimes contaminated with antamoeba germs. After normal cooking, antamoeba germs are still alive. Antamoeba is transmitted in this way. When infected with virus, sometimes it is uh, cured normally within 2 or 4 days without any medicine help. But some diseases need long term treatment. Virus of cough and cold spread through coughing, spitting and sneezing. Mosaic diseases of plants are transmitted with simple contact. AIDS, acquired immune deficiency syndrome is still not curable. AIDS is transmitted when blood from infected person is taken taking drugs by those who are addicted using some needle many times while taking injectable medicines and involvement in immoral trafficking. Mumps, pox, measles, etc. are very painful diseases. These vi uh, viral diseases are transmitted through ER and get into the respiratory tract. Now lesson 10. Lesson 10 is prevention and remedy of health hazard caused by microbes. For prevention and remedy of the diseases caused by virus, bacteria, fungi and antamoeba, a joint effort is needed to follow the rules of hygienic carefully. It should be kept uh, in mind that a weak health runs the risk of being attacked um, attacked by diseases. So everybody should be balanced diet regularly according to the needs of body. Only meat and fish cannot meet the demand of the balanced food. Taking with vegetables and fruits along with these can fulfill the demand of balanced diet. Vitamins and mineral salts are important for maintaining good health and developing resistance against diseases. Next comes uh, the use of uh, sanitary latrine, cleaning and washing hands and mouth following health rules. Having regular nail cuts, brushing the tooth 
and taking bath using toilet soap are also very important for the prevention of diseases. Not spitting on the road, using mask or handkerchief while walking in the dusty road and covering face with handkerchief while coughing and sneezing are good efforts for resisting the spread of germ. After wiping the cough with the handkerchief, it, it is uh, essential to wash it on uh, returning home. If possible, you can use tissue paper or wiping cough for wiping cough. One should avoid using or coming into contact with usable thing, uh, things of the diseased person. It is important that drinking water should be safe. To avoid cholera, typhoid and bacterial diseases, it is a must to uh, take safe drinking water. We should use safe water for drinking, bathing, washing clothes and utensils. Water from arsenic free tubule is safe. Even clear water from ponds and beavers should be boiled properly before use. Man, animal and bird should be treated properly when they are ill. Birds, birds with bird flu virus should be killed and buried under the soil. Cattle when suffer, suffer from mad cow or anthrax diseases should be killed because during its treatment other animal may be attacked, attacked with such diseases. Encourage everybody uh, for leading a hygienic life. You are to have clean idea about how germ can inside human body and how to resist them. Resist them. Discussion may be initiated in schools, mosques, templates, uh, temples, uh, playground, marketplace, and places where a number where a large number of people gather. The best preventive measure is to make people aware of it. When attacked, the patient should call in a good doctor and take his advice. If needed, medicine should be taken. Treatment of a, a quick doctor leads to complication uh, instead of curing it. We have much responsible regard, regarding it. Students, I have finished uh, my today's lessons. Now I will give you SW and your SW will be make 5 MCQ. Make 5 MCQ with um, 4 options uh, by yourselves. And so um, for this SW you have to read these uh, lessons from 5 to 10 properly then you will make 5 MCQ question and uh, with uh, four options and you will answer them and you have to submit your SW on um, every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So dear student I hope you have understood today's topic keep practice it at home and uh, do your as an SW so dear students stay home and we'll see you again in our next class.